The first thing you want to do is put a drop of water on all of the colors that you think you want to use because we need to melt the paint. These are watercolor paints. They need water to be able to use them. Now I'm going to start off with my lightest color, my yellow. Notice how I'm swirling my brush. I'm not digging my brush into the paint. And I'm going to just paint some yellow right across here. I'm going to add some more water to my brush, swirl my brush around in the yellow paint, and paint some yellow right over here. Now I'm painting right on top of where my, uh, my crayon colors are because the crayon resists the paint. So the, the crayon pops right through the paint. That's why we had to color really hard when we did our watercolor paint. So I used a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. It's okay to get a little bit of paint on your table, but please don't paint anything on purpose that isn't your paper. You can just get a little bit of over paint on it. Now you can blend colors together. I'm gonna to make a yellow orange by just layering the yellow and the orange together. If you wanted to mix some colors in your paint box, you have to rinse your brush before you put it in another color. So I'm gonna put some yellow there and I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange and make a yellow orange color. And then I can do some yellow orange down here. And see, I can paint right on top of my still life because that is wax. And so that's gonna pop right through the paint. The paint is only going to stick to the places where there's paper. Now let's do a little bit of red. I'm gonna overlap my red and my orange together. So you can mix colors together. And notice how before I dip it back into the red paint, I'm getting a little more water on my brush. And then before I change colors, I have to rinse my brush out so that I don't take my red paint brush and dip it back into my yellow or dip it into my blue. So you rinse your brush and notice how I'm not tapping my brush on the edge of the cup. I don't want you to tap because that sprays water all over the place. You don't need to do that. You dip your brush. If there's too much water on it, just wipe it gently on the edge. So I've got some red here. Red plus blue does make purple. So it's okay to put those next to each other. Dipping my brush in, getting it wet, swirling my brush in. Notice how my colors in my paint box are still clean. You don't want to mix those colors together. Rinse the brush, maybe a little bit of purple down here. There we go. So you can layer the colors. If you want a color to be lighter, like a really light purple, just add a lot of water to your purple paint. Now this isn't watercolor paper, so it's gonna wrinkle up a little bit, that's okay. And like I said, you can layer colors on top of each other, or you can mix them in the top of your paint box if you want to. I want a little more red here. So I'm just making stripy colors. You can do anything you want. I'm going to put some green down here on my table. There we go, for the tablecloth. That's a really strong green because it's been sitting there a while. I'm gonna add a little more water to it. So notice how I am not digging my brush in. I'm rinsing my brush now before I put more paint up at the top here. And so I think I'm gonna go with more yellow. It's gonna be a bright yellow. Now you aren't going to be able to paint little tiny things. Like I'm not, once I've got this painted, I'm not gonna be able to take my red and paint a red star. You see how it's running like that? So you're not going to be able to paint little details in. If you want those little details, if you really wanted a star to be red, you would color that in with your crayons before you start painting. So I'm gonna put a little more purple down here. So if I want the color a little bit stronger, I just make another layer of purple. And notice how my crayons just popped right through the paint. So when you're finished, you're gonna rinse your brush out. You're not gonna leave your brush in the water. That's bad for the bristles. So you're going to wipe your brush off, leave it like that. You're gonna take your paper and hold it carefully, hold it by the edges so that it doesn't fly out of your hands when you're walking with it. So you're gonna hold it like this and go put it on the drying rack. Then when you get back to your tables, you're gonna get a washcloth or a paper towel 
and uh, wipe off your desk and you will be all through painting. One more thing. Uh, we have a rule about splatter painting. I don't want you to splatter paint. Splatter painting is doing this and then splattering. Uh -uh, you're not doing that. This paint is not for splattering in my art class. That's it.